I am super excited about being back live and in person with the children, but I also know it's gonna be very different. So I feel like stepping in, it was like, a, lo a lot of emotions went through my head. I mean, I, I left on March 13th, <laughs> Friday the 13th, and it's, you know, it's been all of these months that I've been working from home. It was complete isolation. It was COVID, cancer, and chemo. And it was isolating. And I really wanted to be back to the place that um, they gave me so much support. Spanish Lake Elementary gave me so much support. I wanted to be back here. I wanted to be back home. <laughs> um, it was nice to get back into the classroom. I was always skeptical of relying too much on technology because I'm like, I'm the teacher, like I'm important, <laughs> you know, like they need a human being. And they do, I think the students do. However, I've learned from the online what I want to do and what I don't want to do. So I will still incorporate the technology in the classroom. I'll continue to use a lot of the resources. Our superintendent made sure that we got a device in every child's hands. So instead of 50% of my students being able to access their books online for reinforcement, now 100% should be able to. And of course, having it in a classroom as well, I'll incorporate it into my lessons, but I can rely on it just the amount that I need to. If I can teach the same message that I have taught since long before this, which is for them to value their education. This is not about a grade. This is not about a standardized test. Those gauge where we need to go. Those give accountability and they're useful. But the bottom line is, if we don't teach children to value their education and their knowledge, then we've lost. And I think for me, making sure that the dialogue that I have with my students this year is about all the positives they gained. Because I can tell you, I gained a lot of positives last year. I, there were some negatives. I had a few negatives in my life last year, one or two. But that's not what I'm focused on. I'm focused on the positives and that dialogue that we have with our children, in my opinion, has to focus on that positive.